We have reached the main event of the evening. This is Voice of the Cage Radio with the voice of the cage himself, Patrick Stanger. Stanger. We mount to tussle. Fighters, trainers, promoters, events, rumors. If it has to do with MMA, we're talking about it. Here's your host, Patrick Stanger. Welcome to Voice of the Cage. I'm Patrick Stanger, your host. And joining me in the studio today is a very, very special guest. And it it is an honor and a privilege to have Master Helson Gracie. How are you doing, Helson? Hi, my friends. Pleasure to be here. Honor. Yes, let's talk about jiu-jitsu. Yeah, definitely. Well, I wanted to ask you, I know a lot, you know, you do a lot of seminars and you're, you're always talking, you know, BJJ, but, you know, tell me a little bit about the person behind the gi. You know, what kind of things are you interested in? Do you have any other hobbies besides BJJ? Oh, man, um, like, you know, um, I'm Elio Grace's second oldest son. He, what I come from, my, 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 my country, Brazil, and so much passion, so much love, the families give so support you on. Yes, I always live with my parents to 33 years old, my daddy. That's the, the hug I have from my parents. Most not only this. My daddy gave me the jiu-jitsu. He gave me the, the passion to, to be trained, you know, to be life, be conduct in the goodwill and be honest and be a good instructor and you know, learn eventually. Learn to be a good instructor, pass this around. And then today I'm pretty busy. I have like almost 50 schools around the country teach jiu-jitsu everywhere, and then I put, pretty much I teach seminars only from my own personal associations, and uh, I, I, that's a process I'm doing for years. For 20 years in America, I have this associations building, and pretty strong today. I have, I think, the most stand, the most qualified group, the black belts in the country, because all my black belts has to be approved to get a black belt. I need to be have a course to self-defense, with retention weapons and everything else, rape save. So make you complete in jiu-jitsu, like Helio Grace built me, and then make me, you know, I think one's the best. I think so, not to tell you more. Most qualifies to teach because I keep teaching this forever, you know. It'll be good, so you never stop to teach, you know. I don't stop teach. I uh, like my daddy, I'm gonna die this way. I think I'm very happy way to die, and then, <laughs> I respect everything for that, and, and I'm happy my way, like I'd say, inside my in. I'm happy to be, like I'd say, what I am, and I uh, respect uh, the most my dad and loyalty and how these things come and teach me. And then, sure, as a, a beautiful life, like what I already think inside myself, I'm loving Bielo Grace's son and can pass this around. And, you know, opportunities I have in life. Thank you. Yeah, so you, you really enjoy... You know, just doing B- BJJ, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Gracie Jiu Jitsu, like, you know, every day. Yes. I mean, it's your life, obviously. Well, yes. <laughs> you guys call this a job, you know? But for me, it's not because I tell you the truth. The gi, I think, is the comfort clothing. You know, like in Japan, people use the gi after work. You're going home, your wife wait you for comfort you with a nice gi, you know, a shower, she dress your gi. And then I have a gi like a you know, a clothes for work, you know, that's the best clothes you can use for work, you know, it's pretty comfortable, you know, gi, and then I love it being gi, and that's my life, and then eventually, yes, it's an honor for me. You know, it's funny, it's a, it's a funny story that my instructor was telling me about you the other night, um, about growing up, and you wanted to use the car, and your dad wanted you to win a tournament or two, now yes. tell us that story. Well, that's, that's one story this guy talks, sometimes it's funny, because you see the way jiu-jitsu be canalize your life for good, you know? I'm, I'm only young. I live in Rio, man. In Rio, you know, that's a town with a million things. It's like, like Hawaii. It's a paradise, you know? Brazil have more beach than Hawaii. Have Ten times more beach than Hawaii. Unbelievable. Because the whole country stand up. No, I live in the beach, soccer every day, surf. It's hard to do some kind of job. So many beautiful girls in the beach, you know, girls everywhere. No, it's it's it's, it's attractive from from be no do nothing. As you love you be in the beach every day, waves, <laughs> gals, soccer. Yeah. Life is beautiful. Yeah, huh? yeah. You know, my daddy see me. I'm passionate for these things, and I start don't behave in school. That's my thing. I did it wrong, and my daddy start 
tight me, you know, in, 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 in my behavior, in life. And then tell his son, you know, go to school, you better canalize jiu-jitsu, you're doing well, because that's going to be a way you can, you know, uh, represent us and, you know, be better in life, you get your own professional life like me. And then he teach me that, and then I start to see the choice. And then it's because I behave, bad, I behave bad in school, the only way I can get money from him weekends, he drive his car, shall win the tournament. So I'm the only one in whole tournament, <laughs> like, you get money for compete. Because right. if you, you win one tournament, you got $100 a weekend to the next tournament. Once you lose the tournament, you don't get $100 a weekend for the next tournament. So I, I had choice to, to behave, you know, these tournaments come, and don't come whole balance in life. Tournament come. I don't want to see your friends. I don't want to go in parties. I don't want to, you know, some I'm drink, I'm going to quick drink. So I smoke, I'm going to quick smoke. Because this is no good for competition, you know what I mean? I never did these things, and I don't, I don't approve of this. I have, I try one beer, 30 years old, I try. I, I taste the beer. I never drink in my juvenile times, in, in my adolescent times, adolescent times. I never drink, you know? I never have these habits in home. Because any of my brothers drink, any of my dad, my parties in my house, there's carrot juice. It's not beers. Right, right. Well, you know, a um, couple of questions here are from the Voice of the Cage fan page for you. I have a fan page on Facebook. Um, Chad Cooper asks, how much pressure do you feel or have felt in a competition with the Gracie name? Having been under your father and being one of a handful of eighth-degree black belts, there must be quite a bit of pressure. Yes, well, my, my, like I say, I've come for the hardcore one because when I start doing behavior in school, my daddy tight me most than nobody else. And then I got a real tight with that. Like, I need to get competition to get money. So I need to compete. Like, you know, my, some of my cousins, my brothers, some ones take off. Uh, some ones got hurt, no compete. But I don't have time to get hurt. I don't have time to, to, to get a bad conditions. And then I surf in the morning. I, I do jiu-jitsu in the middle of the day. You said you surf? In the morning. Oh, okay. Every day in the morning. I have like this rabbit for 35 years I surf. And I have, t- I have some pictures all the time. For 35 like, years you've been surfing? Yes. That's the reason I moved to Hawaii. Oh. I love surfing. And I, yes, I do it for long. I start making some shirts with my old style surf. <laughs> what kind of board do you use? Oh, I'm small ones. I surf like 6'2". I have on 5'11", I'm like 6'1", but now I start shrink. Now I'm like, I start shrink. Really. I, I tried to surf one time in Puerto Rico and I almost drowned. No. And you got to be in great condition to get out there and well, surf. I'm, yeah, like I And say, I wasn't at the time. Yeah, like I say, I, I born in Copacabana Beach, you know, three years old, I'm ready to run in the sun. My daddy hold me to not go in the ocean myself. And then when just invited me, he take me, like I'm six, seven, he hold me in my neck and then he, he paddled me outside, he start bringing boards, he throw me in the wave. And then I start learning, like, I'm, I'm very, very habile in the, in the ocean. You know, I can't, I, I think I'm never going to die in the ocean because it's only to be alone. So I jumped myself in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, not to get in the surf, getting currents, getting trouble with that. So I live so much in the ocean. I know what the currents are, what the way, you know what I mean? Be careful here, reefs. I deal with this a lot. And then beautiful life in surf, I, I recommend it too. And then at second, at 11 o'clock, I train every day. After the surf section, I train every day, going home, big meal, back at home, little rest, back to the surf, four to five, soccer at six, five to six, and jiu-jitsu six to nine again. Então, I have jiu-jitsu two times a day, wow. 11 to one, is six to nine, every single day, that's my religion. Yeah, that's my best friends, I tell you the truth. People can do in jiu-jitsu, have schools, people can live in jiu-jitsu. You know that. So I'm going to my school seven days a week, six days a week. Who are my friends for the academy? People can hang around the academy. Então, my best friends in the academy. When I have yeah. a birthday, I invite my students. That's very nice circle a life. You have your friends, the academy, students. You know, mm-hmm. that's a beautiful. Yeah. I, 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 I really appreciate it. Definitely. I mean, I, I can see how, you know, Brazilian jiu-jitsu brings people together and brings you closer to other people. 100%. And, you know, it's, it's a way of life, you know, that you can take out into the real world the things that you learn on the mat. Yeah, eventually, too, I have a, a little idea when I'm talking about. Because when you see, when the jiu-jitsu come to America, how soft, how is Gracie come to America? How, everybody think, oh, who this guy from Brazil going to compete in UFC, new show, this and that? Because my brother, like you guys know, he built in the UFC. He come from Minimax, you know, the movie, he, Tina Turner, 
fight in the cage. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the idea. The dome, whatever. Yeah, right. That was where the Mini idea Max. came from. Mini Max. Mad Max. Yeah, exactly. I'm Thunderdome, sorry. Beyond Thunderdome. Exactly. That's where That's it came from. That's the idea. I did not the know that. The product of the show, the one who directed the movie, that's the one who hold, hold, make hard on building the cage. Yeah. So the guys have the idea to build in the cage and then start with FC number one. Oh, that's and great. The guys bring Royce Grace. Royce Grace, like you know, man, is expression. You don't have any expression to be a fighter. Like Shamrock in one commentary to say, you're going to come in the day of the fight. Right. He asked, who this boy? And I said, this is Royce Grace. That's the guy going to fight. He think Royce is a surfing boy. Walk right. around, you look for an autographer, you know? Right. And he was a smaller guy of the, of the brothers. And that's why y'all... pounds. Right. Huh? Yes, the lighter one. You show rock like 220, pure muscle. And, and that's sick. why you wanted him in there, especially, too, because obviously you wanted to show that Gracie Jiu-Jitsu was the best fighting technique in the world. This, this I need to be proved inside the arena, you know? Yeah. No, have, that's why I'm building this show, because nobody believes it. Right. You hear Royce Grace is going to kick everybody's butts. Right. So the only way to be approved as you will make it, Ears, I need, I need, I need, I'm sorry, I need to put eyes to see you. You understand? Right. You tell the this, the ears not gonna believe. I tell the little boy, kick him, but wow, I don't believe. I need to see. You don't hard to bring this in scale, in camera, in TV. He building this show, and then come Royce. Man, I tell the truth. Royce is the most young, as his young brothers, as young one, and Royce come already with the red carpet because the whole family fight in Brazil. Royce don't have fights in Brazil like me. I have 122 fights in the streets, man. People think I'm a criminal. Mr. Grace, you're supposed to be in jail. 122 fights? Yes, I never got a punch. I never got a punch. You like, never got hit once? Never. Um, I hope this don't happen after I'm talking these words because <laughs> this thing sometimes turns to you. My God bless today, today. I still don't have a punch. and I got a punch from my brother. Halls almost killed me. Halls? Halls. Oh, ho- the Hulls, old oh. one. One He crashed and hang light. I have a brother... Eventually, he died in, crash, in fly, hang glider. He's two years older. And when I'm young, 13, 15, he locked me in the bathroom. I have disagreed with him. Oh, you are tough. Yeah, follow me. And then I follow him. When I got inside, he locked the bathroom. And he started talking. He say sorry. to say sorry. I think I have my rights. Ah, no, 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 no. And then he pushed me. I fall in the bath. And he fall over the bath over me. And started giving me punches. He gave me a lot of punches. And he locked the bathroom inside. My family broke the bathroom, broke this fight. Then bro- broke the lock. When he got inside, holding him, I got so upset. I have some punch in the face, and then I, I got a real beat, you know. And then I'm, I'm really got a beat up. And then I'm, you know, I don't know what to do. And then I run to my room. Everybody hold. What are you doing, to your young brother? And then I run out, get a knife, want to stab my brother. Oh no! And then I, uh, then I got a lock in my room. My daddy found out this, locked me like in jail, one month because I tried, you know. Uh, I'm sorry, the term is more. I pulled the knife from my brother when I'm young. I was so crazy. Got beat up so bad. My happy life. And then for that, I learned to something. And then uh, that's the only beat I remember. And then uh, I really got beat up. And then more, that's making me to learn, you know, step my shoes and, you know, don't disrespect. Don't talk too much. Don't be aggressive. Self-defense for everybody, you know. That's what I teach. Yeah. Grace is it. Against violence, like you know, right, right, I'm absolutely. Pretty much against violence. Grace, like Royce, when he come, that's the example. Royce come with soft style, no punch nobody. Royce is the only one can no punch nobody. Nobody punch Royce. Right. And Royce no punch nobody. Right. Why the guy come like a smooth? Come. What did jiu-jitsu mean in Japanese? Jiu-jitsu call it soft ground work. Ah. The translation jiu-jitsu. Ah. Soft. I didn't know ground that. Ground work. It's not karate, bah, strike, muay thai, kicks, punch, nothing <laughs> like that. It's totally soft. You need to take the guy to the ground, put him down, and submit him. That's the name of the game. And then um, I real, I real feeling the, I real, you know, take advantage of this process. If you uh, save my life in the streets because you clinch the guy, hook one leg. The guy don't know, fall down, turn his back, choke. That's my fights going so fast. I don't yeah. have a fight to pass a minute. Right. Wow. Yeah, that's another record. Yeah. Only now 22 the... fights can pass a minute. Well, you have a nickname. What is it? Uh, Capiao? Uh, champion. Uh, Campeão in Brazil. How His you say that? A Capiao? Campeão. 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 Champion in Brazil. Because, uh, yes, I have this, this life in the streets, and then uh, my performance in the match, that's better, you know, because I'm undefeated there, too. 22 years national champion. I never have a loss in the match. 
Um, that's it. When I have like 23, 24, I got my black belt. Helio Grace hold me for seven years, brown belt. I think I'm the old brown belt in the history of the competition. It stays seven years. What was that years. at all? Why did, why did he make I you wait seven years? bad in school. Uh. He make Hardy Halls. 22 years old, Hardy Halls got a black belt. I got my black belt 24, 23, 24. He hold me longer. He make me compete longer. He give me hard times. I think I deserve, you know, everything mm -hmm. that he gave me deserve. He prepare me for better. He the results. And the end, this, he be a, a punishment more. Make me better personal, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Punish can come for good. And then I think he did well. He, he canalized my life for the goodwill to be a better instructor, teach jiu-jitsu eventually, or I did. And then I really appreciate this opportunity, you know, to pass his name today. And, and your dad, obviously, you know, what is the history and how he got involved with uh, jiu-jitsu and, um, you know, why you guys, you know, what, what, what brought you to, uh, to America to bring this over here? Well, beginning start, it started like 1906, 1908. The Japanese immigration, the first war, the instructor, Kondi Koma, he's supposed to send for the front lines in Japan. Japanese people gather him like the best instructor and then make him, send, try sending him to the front lines to teach the arm in the, in the fields. And then he rejects. Say, no, I don't think jiu-jitsu is going to be good for war. I think jiu-jitsu is a peaceful thing, a self-defense. Mm -hmm. And with, 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 with philosophy, you know, he got away. He ran away. He ran away from Japan. Right. He desert. He ran away. You don't want to get involved in war. Peaceful, man. I understand. You don't want to teach. You don't want to get involved in the war. War, you know, the times ago, putting me, you know, different weapons. And, what do you mean? And then a lot of hands combat. A lot of less weapons, long distance, lasers. Right. These mm. things don't exist. So right. I need you battles, you knives. And so you can use more jiu-jitsu in the times, too. Anyway, and then um, today, too, whole army uses jiu-jitsu now. I real bless to have the army learn jiu-jitsu, teach jiu-jitsu, train jiu-jitsu in the army today. Right. Make us safe. That's beautiful. Well, Law make... enforcement, cops, yeah. everybody. But anyway, this happened, and uh, whole this process going. My daddy, my, my, the country coma when he arrived in Brazil, he wanted... He, he know, told you nothing to my parents about eight years later. My, my parents helping him, political things. He's kind of want to be in political stuff. I need some good uh, influence in, in North Brazil. That's where my parents are, Belém do Pará. And then, uh, and then with that, uh, uh, he want to get more involved in the, in the community. And then my, own, my godfather, grandfather, start teaching him. Start, I'm sorry, start introducing him to the people. And start making him more in the community. And then eight years later, he's, because he still uh, deal with my, own, my grandfather a lot, he uh, starts to see Carlos' attitude. He Carlos is, 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 is the old son from Gastão. Right. That's my grandfather, Carlos. And then Carlos have like trees, mango trees in his streets. Mm. Like 20, 10, 10 mangoes this side, 10, man, 10 mangoes trees on the other side, side, the sidewalk. He don't let nobody pick his mangoes. Anybody can pick any mangoes anytime, any day, any night. He cannot pick mangoes. And the kids know the streets. Right. So sometimes Carlos have lunch time at home, he eat. They're not, Carlos, some kids in the trees, number nine, take your mangoes over there. You know your mangoes? Really? He put the plate aside, run, pull the guy's foot out of the trees, <laughs> kick the guy's butts, have a fight, kick the guy's out. That's my mangoes. Don't come in here. So Carlos, very hot blood. Like you know us, Scotland. My my grand grandfather at Scotland, born in Scotland. Oh, okay. The grandfather as Scotland's son. So I have a little influence in the blood. You know, Carlos very hot blood and all spice and all <laughs> in fights. And Conde Coma saw on this one day. And then come I had, uh, come to Gastão. Gastão, I'm gonna tell you something I never told you nobody because he don't wanna be found, you know. He don't nobody know you. Start teaching Jiu Jitsu. Maybe people in Japan found out, you know, maybe Take him away or kidnap him. Right. You never know. More, uh, he, he don't want to say nothing. He don't want to get involved in Brazil in jiu-jitsu for nobody to know him. But after he see Carlos for eight years, my grandfather helping him, he said, I'm going to give something and I never told you nobody. I'm, I'm a black belt in jiu-jitsu and then I'm mastery and uh, I'm supposed to go in front lines. I get away. But I can teach your son a little self-defense program, jiu-jitsu groundwork. And then he teach Carlos from, from giving his. 
this touch and this this relation come from a dust to not disappear. Because see, this jiu-jitsu no pass for Helio Grace hands, never be Grace Jiu-Jitsu, never be the same. It's going to be a Jiu-Jitsu, rough Jiu-Jitsu. Então, Carlos the first one to learn. When Carlos learned what happened, uh, he stopped past for Helio. More Helio very skinned. Helio, his weight, his plenty conditions, 135. He never passed 140 pounds. 140, that's his weight, he holds fight, 138. Então, very skinned guy, tall skin. And then uh, he, he already have, you know, like the fascia, his body, when he, when he jog something, he jog a little bit, going to play soccer, 14, 15, he pass out. Então, he don't have resistance to keep this endurance train. And then Carlos developed the Grace diet. He start teaching jiu-jitsu for Helio. More Helio can not spar, Helio can not jog, Helio can not play soccer. Helio, because Helio, Israel don't have, you know, physical conditions well. And then Carlos started developing the Grace Diet. Carlos put a little bit of Jiu-Jitsu to the side. He emphasized more Helio, teach Helio. And Helio started to say, Carlos, I cannot do your Jiu-Jitsu. Jiu-Jitsu, you teach me, I cannot do it. I need to move this heat change for this because I don't have power. That's true. Então Helio started to change Jiu-Jitsu. Like wow. Carlos teach him, the guy cross him, grab the bell, bump him over, roll him over. Helio say, man, I, cannot, I don't have power to lift the guy, roll him over. <laughs> Então, my daddy said, I prefer put him in the guard and then wrap my leg in his neck, triangle. Então, Helio started developing on jiu-jitsu from under me. On jiu-jitsu to play from the bottom for a skinny guy, you know, in the bottom. Right. Put hands in your collar, choke. Most of the Helio Grace submissions come from the bottom. From the so, bottom? Yeah. From oh, the guard, okay. put a hand in the collar, tap. That's the tap, Cato, the, the second place in the world in Brazil. Cato come challenge my daddy. And my daddy put his hands in the collar, in the guard position, pass him out. Right. He's sleeping my daddy's guard. If the ref don't understand, my daddy tell him, he's done. He pass out, he pass out. The ref, no, no, continue. And my <laughs> daddy push him with the foot. The guy roll, he roll up, belly up, and totally sleep. My daddy stop, squeeze, but the ref tell him, continue, continue. He say, no, man, the guy already sleep. The ref, no, no, he didn't see him. And my daddy choke from the bottom and skin and long arms, you know, and then successful yard. Well, like I say, as a technical way to do it, and then that's come the Grace Jiu-Jitsu because Helio Grace develop the real technically. He make Jiu-Jitsu soft for anybody can apply. Yep. Old people can come, kids, women. That's I have a rape save course. Yeah. In my associations, you have the self defense course. You have weapons retention. You have your combat course. You have your, you know all these kind of different courses you can take for different. Things for different ways you can take jiu-jitsu. Law enforcement like weapons. Uh, the bouncers want to grappling, mm -hmm. you know, raise, uh, police officers eventually like knives, sticks, a ways to arrest people. Different ideas for each, each, each idea you want to have jiu-jitsu. Yeah, it makes sense to, if you're being attacked in the streets, you know, and somebody's on top of you, I mean, most people panic. You know, and you know, what do you do? I mean, that's where, you know, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu comes in. I mean, obviously, you learn that technique on how to get somebody off of you that may be 50, 60, 70 pounds heavier than you. Yeah, that's a good thing to talk about because sometimes you see some guys can know Jiu-Jitsu. Sometimes the guys, man, 140 pounds, take guys down, mount the guy, choke, pass out the guys, 200 pounds. Yeah, that's that's it's, me, it's training with the smaller guys. <laughs> I have a harder time with the smaller guys. I believe you, man. <laughs> Someone's sharp, you know, more they train, the better you are. Yeah, they're more they're more technical, that's for sure, and then yes. they can move and they create that space. Surprise. Oh, you yeah. See this everywhere. Yeah, it's an easier time with the bigger guys for me, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Um, so, again, back to your brother, Hoist. You know, how is he doing? Are you guys still talking? Uh, you know, you, you're still close? Or? Yeah, I love Hoist. Basically, he's my brother. I keep this passion for him. More, um, I have a little uh, disappointed. And then um, I think Hoist, he, like he owes whole family have the best in hands. Helio Grace Jiu-Jitsu. He says, I think it's the family, the whole family follow Helio Grace. That's not going to be uh, lost. And then uh, I tell you because uh, that's what happened to me. If everything Helio Grace to say, I just got an interview in the MMM Hawaiian magazine. That's a little magazine. Be, uh, only in Hawaii you can get this magazine. 
Right. I'm going to give you one later. Okay. Once you go in there and the, and the internet, you can find this interview in the MM uh, Hawaii magazine. And then I talk basically about my daddy, he, how, how successful I am in life. He only follow the instructions of the Helio Gracie. I don't need to follow nobody else. I don't hear nobody. Hall's my old brother. My Hall's talk. I say, yeah, great, Hall's. Well, what did my daddy say? That's what, what's going to be right now. And then uh, I listen to all the things around, but I never change my stand, my, my ABC Helio Gracie. I never stand. I have a book. I don't have a book. I tell the stories. More, like, see, my brains, I have a book. My book have eight pages. Page number one, the way to take it down. Page number two, one page, I show you guard the fence. Page number three, bottle the fence. Only one page. Page number four, cross side. Page number five, half guard. Page number six, north south. Page number seven, multi position. And page number eight, backscape. Ah. What other position you can go? I have the fence for everything, these things in the street fights. Waste don't get punched, waste to get away. You do waste to come over him after getting this, caught in this bad spot. More, that's what the great Helio Gracie teaches us. Is be down in the bottle and be safe. Down in the bottle, no panic. Down in the bottle, know what you're doing, block yourself. I don't see gi, you block your neck, street fight, block your face. And that's the basically stand, you know? <laughs> and then uh, I believe it, then I never got caught. I see some people change coats. That's Royce. He, now he have a Muay Thai coach. A guy to do a Muay Thai is, is coach. You know, I'm coach Royce for the, the, the five UFCs. When he fight Valid, Rorion coach him. The day that Rorion coach Valid, Royce fight Valid in Brazil, Rorion coach him, not me. Rorion sit in the coach chair. And then Royce pass out. When, when, I don't know. Rorion never coached him before. The day I want to coach him, occasionally the bad thing happened. And then I feel disappointed because I disagree with Hori. Hori never coached him. Hori got a coach this day. But Hori want to do it. Hori did it. And then Royce lost over there. First lost Royce. And then after that, I don't start coach Royce anymore. Royce start doing his own things. Royce got a new coach, Muay Thai. And then Royce went fight Matt Hills. He showed the pure Muay Thai. I'm very disappointed with Royce, my brother. I'm sorry, same blood, same daddy. What kind of technique you try to apply over there, I don't understand. Royce yeah. never kick high. Royce never spill albums, turn his back, spill albums. What is Royce doing? I don't understand. And then I'm disappointed with that. With Royce's whole experience you have in us, Jiu Jitsu, why you choose the album Matt Hills? Why you don't kick Matt Hills new, he clean, she take it down? Why Royce change? Royce change style, man. Royce fall. And then I think he falls Royce the way he fall, the way he lost, because he didn't follow the system anymore. You know, he don't listen to what my daddy did say. I never see my daddy to tell me to kick his guy's face. I never see my daddy teach my school album, spill the album, album spill. I never see high kicks in my school. And Royce did, I think, everything upside down. And Matt Hughes beat the champion. Matt Hughes used jiu-jitsu. Mm -hmm. Matthew Hughes clinched Royce, Matthew Hughes passed the guard, Matthew Hughes mounting, Matthew Hughes finished Royce, punched his brains. And then, well, it's not happy to me for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have this bad record, I don't have this bad feelings to be in positions like that, he's stuck like that. I'm sorry, Royce is my brother. More I tell you the truth, that's what my eyes saw. And then I'm disappointed because Royce don't use the techniques. After Royce lost, I give you 10 day seminars. What the horse don't did in the fight. That's what I teach my seminars after. Mm. Show them my associations, the horse make a big mistakes. It's not the grace jiu-jitsu loss. Grace jiu-jitsu don't have lost. Grace jiu-jitsu is the best techniques, is the best triangles appliers, the best arm locks. It's come from Helio Grace, technically way done, the way to set up. Helio Grace have the best sets. I don't believe nothing better than Helio Grace. I'm sorry. Helio Grace is never going to be away. He always going to Build us, what did he teach us, what did he make us keep this true going, make these positions work, and what he showed us, keep you repeat, A, B, C, L, Grace, everybody gonna get lost. You know, doing, you lost. Well, what do you think about 
um, the UFC today and the popularity of mixed martial arts and, you know, what it's become. Obviously, there's rules in place. I mean, you know, um, you know, what do you think about all that? Well, I come from a different country. I come from a different West. Um, really, my, my, my no holds barred and no holds barred. And then um, I grow in this way. I hate fights. I don't like too much the professional life. Well, let's fight for money. I hate. Because if I'm going to the arena, I'm going to fight somebody. It's not the money for some reason. I don't fight for money. Money don't make me fight. I hate money at this point. Mm. Money is a bad for you. In this point, some people are going to fight for money. Mm. Get punched in the nose or broke your teeth. They fight for 10000 Oh, 5000 Give me 10000 I fight. You got to punch your teeth. You broke your teeth. You got to lose your teeth. I don't think 10000 paid my teeth. You understand? Yeah, definitely. If some people say, ah, I don't care about 10000 Okay, lose my teeth. For me, 10000 I go over there, take a punch. I have a chance to take a punch. Get my teeth loosen up. I don't think it's a good sport for me, you know? I don't want to go again. You understand? Right. Another 10,000, another teeth lose. Come on, what is this going? Another caught in the nose, another sticks in the eyes, another ear smash. Tough sport. You need to go in the sport. You know defense yourself. I have, my, I have my fights going. I have some guys that got in no holds bar. But what I teach my students first, a health some grace, self-defense, no holds bar. That's the name of the class. And then you learn yourself, don't got strikes in the fight. It's a new system to be building myself and my associations for my students to be safe in the streets. It's not going UFC. You don't see this one. not allowing UFC. Right. A lot of head butts, a lot of elbows. It's not allowed. It's not for UFC. It's not for shows. My jiu-jitsu, I teach my schools, it's not from UFC. It's above. It's something you... I survive. It's not. Yeah. They're in the ground, stand up, got boats in the fence, broke out. This is good for the Muay Thai. Let's make the show look beautiful. Punch, kicks, elbows, knockdowns. But that's not the real. Nobody got this time with me. See, the fight don't come. See, the rules don't broke the fight. The time you clinch, going to be one clinch for five minutes or ten minutes round. The fight is not going to untight anymore. No reason to untight the fight. That's the grappling can win. Right. I clinch it with you, keep stable. See the grappling starts, step up, broke again, broke again. That's good for the stand up guy. Give advantage for the Muay Thai, the karate. Then you start everything in the beginning again. You need both grappling, keep it tight each other, pull down or pull down. That's the way to tie each other. The, the position can most tight the fighters each other. And when one try to take down another one, that's the time to spend energy. Ah. If you let allow one take down, you know, broke out, you spend a lot in next, next round, you're not the same. Right. Worn you out. You stop. Fresh up. The karate guy like because he don't spend energy in wrestling, take it down or not. Right. You know, stop. Back again. So for the karate, Muay Thai is great. Got to lose again. Start kicks loose and up again. When you clinch the grappling, when the grappling clinch the fighter, the Muay Thai or kickbox or the karate, the karate want to get away. Então, in this struggle, the get away, no get away, a lot of spend, a lot, a lot of spend energy going. True. I try to take the guy down. Doing you push no point. Leave five minutes like this. Next round, somebody die, because they spend energy so much in this when they clinch each other. That's the fight for the power, you know. That's right. the guy's magic, the power. <laughs> that's come the struggle. But you broke out. You start again. Fresh up. Loosen up, and then come the run again. Catch the rats. That's the name of the game. One run, one kick, one run, one run, one kick. So sometimes, born. I'm a ra- grappling fighter. I'm a street fighter, really. So sometimes this fight's born me a little bit. Because Baba, stand up again. <laughs> Baba. So old fights, heavy fights. You see, fights five rounds. Black belts, world champions, grappling. The fight is not going to the ground. Demaya Anderson Silva. Five rounds, the guy not going to the ground one second. Stand up, come up again. What the hell? I want to see the fight in the ground. I want to <laughs> yeah. see the techniques in the ground. I want to see. Must he stand up? Stand up. Well, it's different perception, okay? Um, I'm, I'm, I some, still watch because the entertainment is good. The fight is good. You see who fights, who no fight. More. I'm coming for a different world, different rules. Um, I'm not... Um, 
a showman, I'm a street fighter, and street fighter in the streets. I'm not a street fighter in the arenas. I'm a street fighter streets. And I always fight in the streets. I have one arena fight in my life. I fight one public fight with no charge arena. Yeah, no got a 25 cents. My <laughs> daddy, no, no give me nothing. Nothing. Me yeah. water for free, I got it. I bring my own water. <laughs> I go in the arena, fight, 10,000 people watch. I don't got a 20 cents. Fight, no, fight the first fight. I have seven fights in the night. Fight me, Halls, Horion, Marcio, uh, 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 Carcinho, and then uh, Tarciso, Fabinho, and then uh, 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 one guy from Carson, uh, Black Belt, Marcos, I think so. Well, yeah, this seven guys fight, seven karate guys. My fight in the night again is the first fight of the night. I have 56 seconds. You get a minute, too. But that's the only professional fight I have in my life. Yeah, I don't get any money. Right. Spectators for free. I don't get water there. Like I'd say, I bring my own water. Fight. Bye. See you later, guys. That's the way I'm doing. I am never fight for money. I mean, you obviously enjoy it. I watch. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> See two people fight, that's beautiful. Sweet punch each other, that's beautiful view. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a view of this belt on the uh would you mind showing your belt? You know, obviously Helson is an eight degree black yes. belt and it's red and black. Now what is uh, what is the purpose of the red and black? Well and where, how'd you get that belt and Yeah, basically, um the the eventually you gotta first the black belt. You are you you gotta no, you got a white belt, you come for white belt, white belt. Blue bell, adults, purple bell, brown bell, black bell. Right. With black bell, I got my black bell for Helio Grace, 23 years old. And then after 20 years in Cheech, he gave me the, the red, the red bell, the red black bell. So I need to spend 20 years in Cheech. Ah. You don't have black bell going home and in 20 years got red black bell no. Right. You got the black bell, you need to be cheat. So you keep Cheech. You got the belt, the mastery, because you teach for 20 years. And then I got my eighth degree, black belt. So when I change for red, black belt, I only gonna have one more degree. I can get a nine degree. I never can be 10 degree. Okay. I'm gonna be nine degree in two years more. But to get this degree, I need to teach 20 years red, black belt. I see. 20 years. I have 20 years black belt. Now I'm going 20 years red, black belt. And now I'm going red belt. So you'll get to have a red belt on your ninth. I have 18 years. 18 oh, 18 years. years. Red <laughs> black belt already. Right. To get the red belt, you have to go. More two years. Two more years to get a red belt. You're going to complete 20. I need 20 years red black belt. Then first, I need 20 years black belt. And then after, I need 20 years red black belt to get a red belt. Right. So I have 40 years in structure. And, and, I have and, 38. And the belt, <laughs> and the belt, there. the belt is, explain the belt. I mean, obviously, it's a way to show experience. Uh, yes, yes. That's like I was doing, like, eventually, the, like, 40 class, eventually, my school, 40 class, with my school, you got a blue belt. How long? 40, cla 40 class. 40 classes. Yeah. And then, from there, with my school, is 40 class. In associations, I charge 60 class. Because it's somebody else, not me. Me is 40 class. Somebody else is 60 class. The students are going 60 class, you got a blue belt. You after six class, you got a one degree. You another six class, second degree. Blue belt. Another, another four, uh, 60 class. So each, each 60 class gives you one degree. I see. So for you having four degree, it's going to be 240 class. You have a four degrees. And then you complete another 60, it's going to be 300 class, you're going to different belt. Right. And then you change for purple belt. And then same thing, 60 class, one degree, 120 class, two degree, 180 class, three degree, 240, four degree, you another 60 class, then you go in brown belt. Okay. That's this, you know what I mean? Right. The 46, six months, maybe eight, eight months you can go in. Então, it's four degrees in each belt. It's coming like basically like 10 years. People talk to make and make a black belt in three years. No. <laughs> I don't know the kind of jujitsu the guy's talking about. You know what I mean? 
A lot of these guys teach jiu-jitsu don't know about self-defense. Right. A lot of these instructors, 95% instructors in America don't know 5% self-defense. Wow. A lot of these black belts I choke from behind is dead. Somebody sneak from behind you choke, he's dead. These guys don't know escape chokes from the back. That's, that's the most important thing in Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. Pure self-defense, no groundwork. Groundwork is the second thing more important. Ah, okay. Most important in Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, stand, first thing, self-defense. Ah, I trained in Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, the guy don't know nothing about self He thinks so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> or Go try ahead. to walk away from the trouble at first. Well, I have ways to get in trouble. You get away for troubles. Yep. But the best thing you have in jiu-jitsu to stand your rights, you want somebody wrong, you have something to protect yourself. Right. But some people, sometimes, no respect. Right. Absolutely. Sometimes your wife, your kids, you know, worlds keep wild. And jiu-jitsu, put the guys, the bad ones, in the right spot. And jiu-jitsu is nice because you don't need to be bodybuilding. You don't need to be... 200 pounds. The skinny ones in jiu-jitsu is the bad ones. Yeah, I agree. The skin, old guys, the skin. <laughs> yep. Be careful with these ones. <laughs> and tell me, so when you're rolling with your training partners, and uh, what are some things to remember? Just when you're rolling, just, you know, what are some basic tips for people to, to think of? You know, one of the things I always have trouble with was remembering to posture when I'm in the guard. You know, I always yeah. get my head, you know, pulled down and... Yeah. You know, like, what are some basic tips like that? Like, obviously, posture up and, you know. Well, like you, like you know, man, jiu-jitsu, like, that's it. It's what jiu-jitsu means. That's one move after another one. That's, a, that's one thing you don't stop. You don't put a hand here, next one you go here. Next one you pass the leg, next one you mount, next one you put a hand in the collar. So it's move after move. What can make this work better? What can be better in this process? It's who repeat more. Compete more? Who repeat? Oh, who make more repetition? Rep- yeah, that's my instructor is always talking about Com- repetition. Go repetition. Put a hand one time. Okay, uh, okay. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. And uh, pretty soon, uh, just like a drive a car, just <laughs> yeah. like a drive a car. Right. It's the most hard thing. First day, you get your son. You're gonna teach him drive a car. It's gonna take a month before you can put the boy in the streets. It can be your son, patient. I think it is good. You don't have the sense. That's the thing I need to take time to get the feeling, you know, the foot. You coordinate what you see, what you drive. But after two, three years, you don't think anymore. You drive, you react. You drive, you, hey, yes, good move, yeah. You, you, you don't think anymore because you repeat so much. When you get to a level like this, like me, like a black belt, when I get my brown belt, I repeat past guard so much times already. Right. You start don't think anymore. You know what I mean? You only think in the new move. Because the old one, you keep teach over, keep practice, keep apply. Until you never rest. So react. You never rest. React, never rest. don't think. React, don't think. But for this be be apply, you need a repetition to get in this point. Right. And it, people don't like you repeating jiu-jitsu. You show your move, the guy doing one, two, three times. Ah, I know that already. He not. Mm-mm. He right. maybe no doing the move, but you don't have the ability, you don't have the time and the precision to catch somebody strong and tough too, you know? Right. Time strong, guy pull more strong, so I pull the arm, bring up the, up the ground. So I need to be counting these things. You train every day, you adjust for that. They improvise, you're going to be improvised for you too. Well, um, you know, Helson, it's been great. I'm so glad you joined us today. What, how can we get some more information um, on you? Do you have, what's your website? Uh, Helsongrace.com. Okay. Com, com. Okay, and you have a you can get books up there. You have a yeah. Book. I start I start my my daughter play uh, Facebook and now start doing these things and you know I start getting information. I start sell clothing there. Start organized because I never been computers before. I apologize. I'm, I want to say sorry. I hold this public with friends I have. Internet online, yeah, and then I never been computer man. That's embarrassing. What I never know working that. And then I have my daughter now to try make my uh, Facebook and try organize my life. I just open a page from clothing contacts, and I start putting my thoughts. My dad, you know, start writing things in my page. And then yeah, that's a great. You guys can come helsongrace.com, and you guys are gonna see the the my page and then start informate about my dad. I just begin to start. I want to picture with that. 
Do you guys patient with me because I'm not too good internet? More, I try my best. Yeah, it's fine. That's Listen, it. you live in Hawaii and you roll all That's day long. Yeah, I mean, you really, you don't need the internet. And it's the really best. a waste of time. Facebook it's is true. a waste of time. Man, I tell you the truth. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm so much in the mat, you know. I'm like, I just talked to you before I come in the studio. I talk to you outside. I like, I travel for 21 days. I'm going 18 different schools. I leave Hawaii like day second. I'll be back day 25. In this 21, 22 days, I'm going like 19 schools in line wow. every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Don't stop. Every day, it's like 19 days in the road. Rock star. I, it's not rock star. <laughs> it's a lot of sacrifice, a lot of, oh, I see. A, lot of, a lot of hard work, man. It's a lot of travel, a lot of jack leg, a lot of sleep in different places. You know, that's, that's tough. I, yeah. My life is not easy what people think. I'm not rich still. I'm no, I'm still, still far away. And then I, anyway, more... You know, I'm I'm very devoted to what I'm doing, and I'm very loyal to my students. And you know, I got this bless. I have very uh, uh, karma, good life. You know, God bless. I just talked to my friend. How many crash accidents and lives I save? You know, in real life, in, in, in cliffs and cars and accidents. And I think I don't know Popovich just have the accident with his parents. Oh. George Popovich. That's a that's a bad. Uh, situation, his mom just passed out in Brazil in the sliced mud. George Popovich, the world champion. That's, that's a good boy, very nice stand fighter. And then his dad, I saved his dad for a crash car too in Brazil. Underwater, the car going underwater, jump in the lake. I meet him in the water. Wow. In the car, and the car crash going to the lake, Lagoa, in Rio de Janeiro. And then every three guys in the car. Then I'm the first one to get out, the car going deep. And then uh, I dive under the water to pull him out and then save his life because the car take him away. So I have a whole this, you know, life's past, you know, God bless. I mean, the time you can save somebody. Life, I just talked to this today, how my life is blessed, how, how much I got life blessed this way and a lot of, you know, hard times in life I'd be safe and, you know, keep life on and jujitsu. I think give me a lot of good karma. That's what I told in the beginning. Jujitsu are good, 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 thing in life and good thing you want to, you know, have and friends I make in jiu-jitsu very solid, you know, very loyal to people. Yeah. Always have ones that slide out. You know? I believe in loyalty. I, I want to make my kids be loyal to me. I want to make my students, you know, respect each other. I want my kids, my students, my, my friends, my, my instructors teach self-defense, you understand? Right. Because it's totally against violence. Helio Grace jiu-jitsu against violence. Helio Grace cannot be violent. Right. Helio Grace, 135 pounds. <laughs> right. Cannot be violent. It's going to be a, a mean, skinny, violent guy. There's no work with Helio Grace. Então, Helio Grace has the old stand, his, his stand, like models, you know, personal, he are, how mellow, how, you know what I mean? How, yeah. how good behave, how good, how, how much Helio Grace smile all the time. Oh, smile, oh, happy. God bless. That's me. I, I follow his steps. I love to be here. Thanks for the opportunity to talk to you guys and, I was going to have another seminar tonight. Yeah. And I'm happy. Yeah. Well, let's... Again. <laughs> I just come for class like 11 to 1. Now I'm talking to you here 4 o'clock. Have another seminar in the night. Different school. More as a blast for me. Have a whole this run around jiu-jitsu with me. And I'm real happy. And thanks for the opportunity to come and talk to your friends in the radio. And then the show and the internet. It's a pleasure for me. Honor. Thanks for the opportunity. Thanks, Elson. Appreciate it. Thank you, my man. I'll be back soon. <laughs> God bless you. Keep jiu-jitsu on. For all you guys can listen, good luck in jiu-jitsu. And I wish to see you guys in the mats. Keep training. Keep making better, improving. Keep jiu-jitsu like for self-defense, like I'd say. And good luck. Thanks for the opportunity again. I appreciate it. Thanks for listening to Voice of the Cage Radio with the Voice of the Cage, Patrick Stanger. Please email questions. Do you want me to say please or just email? <laughs> please seems so out of place. Can I say please? <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. No, don't. Thanks let me that out. let me elbow you in the face and please email your inquiries. <laughs> okay. Email questions, inquiries, and other business to info at voiceofthecage.com. Facebook search Voice of the Cage and like to get the latest Voice of the Cage radio show. To book Patrick Stanger at your next fight promotion, visit voiceofthecage.com.